Hello everyone, I want to share some tips that I have learned over the past 11 seasons that I, I have run in the Abyssal Expedition. And starting with the um, first tip that I have, the first tip is um, do not break this path um, too early. And what I mean by that is you can go ahead and click on um, your settlements here and you can go ahead and, ab and abandon your settlements, which essentially just means you will stop um, being a part of that settlement. And I would be careful because um, if, you're, if um, your settlement is on the main path that um, your guild is traveling here and you do end up breaking um, that settlement off, you could potentially split your path into di two different parts. And that could be very bad because if you are um, very far in here and you break the um, path very far into this, um, then some people who are very far behind could end up um, being stuck behind and then they would have to um, use their stamina to catch up. I can't even tell you how many times I've been through that where I forget to play for a day and then they um, end up breaking the path very far along and then leave me behind. And then I have to go ahead and use all my stamina to, um, to catch back up. It's, uh, it's very much a pain. So I would just be careful on um, when you break your path. And this goes along very well with my second tip, which is play at least once a day. I would say if you're um, doing honorable enrollment, I would say even play twice a day. Doing this um, allows for less of a chance of um, being stuck behind. So if you're playing at least once a day, that should um, stop you from um, being stuck. And like I said, I would play twice a day if you're honorable because um, when you're an honorable, those people are um, more competitive in the AE, so definitely playing twice a day is beneficial there. And the next tip is for um, before you even start, I would try to find out which um, class you are wanting to play in this. The most optimal way to play the Abyssal Expedition is just to pretty much choose one class to play as here and then go ahead and level up that one class only. If you're splitting your resources evenly among these classes here, you will not make as much progression, so I would definitely just recommend choosing one class and sticking with that one. I would say one of the most popular classes here is the Ranger class. This one, I've, I've been running the Ranger class for a long time, but I just recently decided to choose the, um, the support class. I was going to go with the Mage class. As you can see, I have quite a few heroes in the Mage class here, but then I quickly realized that the Mage class um, wouldn't be as beneficial um, because you would definitely need support. So then I just decided to go with support and I'll just run a few um, mages here and there. And speaking of leveling up your um, classes here, the next tip I have is with the relics. Um, cho choosing which relic specifically you want to level up here. Um, I would definitely go ahead and look through all of these relics and see what the relic attributes are. And I would choose the relics that have attack in them. See, this one has 150,000 attack. I would choose the relics that have attack in them to upgrade first, and I would choose the relics that have the highest attack in here. Attack has always been a very important attribute um, with the relics, so definitely choosing relics that have attack um, in them first is very important. And as soon as you decide um, which class you're going to want to go for, I would go ahead and um, go through and choose some heroes here that have um, that class in mind. If you have a lot of heroes built, I would just go ahead and look at some guides. There are tons of guides on the um, Abyssal Expedition that show which heroes work very well. But if you do not have a lot of heroes built and you're very new to the game, um, you can probably just choose some heroes that um, have that you have built that have that class in there. And also make sure that you put your beasts in here as well. They do have the beasts in here. Um, make sure that you're using some of your beasts as well because because they can be pretty useful in taking down some of these teams. Another thing here is I would um, try to find out what your limit um, is for taking down these teams because if you look in um, if you look at some of these camps here, they do have um, a certain um, combat rating and the combat rating is a different color based on how difficult it will be for you. And as you continue um, through the Abyssal Expedition, some of these will turn from a red color to a yellow color and then eventually into a green color, like this one right here. And red means that you will pretty much not be able to take down the camp, 
um, yellow means you could be able to take it down, but it will be pretty difficult. And then green means that it will be very easy to take down that camp. So knowing your limit as to um, which teams that you can take down is very important so that you don't waste your stamina trying to take down, um, take down camps that are pretty much impossible for you at that moment. Another tip I have is uh, making sure that you complete these quests in an efficient manner. There are certain quests that um, you have to um, level up um, your um, blessed relics here in a certain way. So making sure that um, you pay attention to what your quests are and then um, doing everything according to how the quests um, or what the quests say, that definitely is a good thing, good idea. And the final tip I have for you guys, and probably one of the most important tips, is to communicate with your militia. You do have a specific chat here that is um, not loading for me at the moment, but you do have a specific chat that allows you to communicate with your militia, with your guild, making sure that you communicate. If someone ends up not being able to take down a, um, a camp like this one right here, you can go ahead and say, that I was not able to take down this camp, maybe someone else can take this one down, and then we can go ahead and um, communicate. And guys, make sure you have fun. Um, you don't necessarily have to always be um, choosing the most optimal route to play this game. There are definitely multiple different routes to, to play this. You can play as um, any different class that you want. You can also do some experimenting, um, see if there's any certain heroes that do well in the Abyssal Expedition. You, you never know, you could find something, and then you can go ahead and share it with um, with um, different AFK Arena communities. Hey, if you like the tips that I showed today for the Abyssal Expedition, make sure to like and subscribe. Also comment what do you think about the Abyssal Expedition, and there will be a video on screen that YouTube thinks you would like to watch next, so go ahead and click on that video right now, and thanks for watching.